Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya, and let's get into it. In today's video, we are going to be addressing further sexual discipline and the importance it has on not only your relationships, men, but your self-confidence as a man in today's society where sex is thrown around like like it's nothing, like it's just something that's been so normalized. And without realizing this, we are enslaved within the system. The system that wants to keep men entrapped within their own lustful mind, thoughts, and that lead them towards actions that are not of their highest good. Now listen to me right now. Perhaps you aren't even aware of where you're giving your sexual energy away to very freely. And when you give this energy away freely, you have no respect for it. It's draining you without maybe even you realizing it. And I want you guys to have healthy relationships. I also want you guys to form a healthy relationship with your own sexual energy, which is another reason why I, you know, I preach about semen retention so much. It's to allow men the opportunity to regain their center point, to regain their strength, motivation, purpose, and discipline. Now, discipline in a man is one of the most attractive qualities a man can have because it indicates to us females that you yourself are self-contained. You don't allow anyone in your corner. You have a level of self-confidence that you don't just freely give your energy, your even attention away to especially women who want it. You know, all these thirst traps going around online, the women out and about showing their booties or butts, you know, whatever. We're not going to be hating on these women anymore. We are not going to be putting them as a problem. The very problem needs to be put back onto you. Now, yes, I do uncover both sides, how women are very much a part of the over-sexualization in today's society, just as much as you are the ones feeding them and also feeding your weaknesses. And I want us to awaken back in to our strengths. You as men have a duty here on earth not to be enslaved in a society that's shaping men into little weaklings that don't have the capability to grow into the buck. They're keeping them small, in a small cage, with no potential of growth. And you guys have a lot of growth to do. I do too, and I am on this path of growth, you know? I've totally shifted my life out of what they're doing to women to now being truly in my femininity, assisting men back into their power point. Because that's what you deserve. You deserve not to be manipulated any longer. You deserve to master your own mind. Because guess what? That is the most important thing for you right now. That is where self-discipline lies. It's not within your habits. It's not within your routine. It's not within whether or not women show themselves or not. It's up to you, your thoughts, your choices that invoke action, the very action that perhaps is leading you down a path of self-destruction. Self-destruction that feels pleasurable to the weakened part of your mind, fueling it, feeding it, and this is where it ends. Now, I want you as men to own up to every single thing you have accepted into your life. You have easily placed blame on another person. Try taking accountability for it yourself. It may be uncomfortable, but after a while, you will find great power within it. Great power within it. Because when you are able to self-correct, you then are aware of where you yourself have been offline. When you fall into these lustful traps, these lustful urges, you're turning yourself offline into an old program that has been normalized by you 
taking action out of that state. It's very important for you to get this under control, for you to practice your awareness every single day and to buck up to the challenge, the challenge of fostering the energy and all potentials that will allow you to align to your destiny. The destiny of having a healthy relationship, the destiny of being able to provide safety for a woman, the destiny that you have within the purpose you are here to fulfill. And the very purpose you are here to fulfill is not weakened women's influencer lifestyles, OnlyFans lifestyles, corn stars lifestyles, needing your very sexual energy to make them profitable and you unprofitable spiritually, mentally, and perhaps physically. It's not a win-win situation. It is not a win-win situation. I said that again to get through to your weakened mind that's perhaps listening to this as well. Wake up. Discipline isn't something that's gifted to you. It is something that's worked for. Just like everything else in your life. Stop waiting for somebody to hand you it over on a silver platter. And the things that do come that easy, question, question. And we don't question the, these things that come so easily into our paths. These women throwing themselves at you when you have a woman at home or the girls, you know, on Instagram, your feed that's popping up for you to become distracted. Are you distracted? Are your distractions inhibiting you from the very actions towards your greater good? Let's look into it and let's self-correct these habits into ones that will actually serve you as a man. You want respect? Do you want respect? Good. I hope the answer was yes because you deserve it. But you do not deserve it. When you are constantly disrespecting yourself and also women by validating them through these apps that are just feeding off of your very own masculinity that is keeping you weak and diminished and unfulfilled. I've said it before and I will say it again. The discipline you are after comes from an unwavering decision that you are choosing different. Although it may be uncomfortable, although you may still have urges arise in the body, what do you do from that point forward? Do you go back or do you move in the direction that will actually serve your life and perhaps attract to you a woman that is deserving of what you have to offer? Now, trust me, a man who can offer self-discipline, especially over his sexual urges, is a very, very powerful man. For it is that man who has overcome one of the strongest challenges for men to master, is their sexual urges. The battlefield's tough out there. There's women throwing themselves everywhere, through all media outlets, even online, even out in public. So what? We're not gonna wait for these women to awaken to their femininity. And the feminine and the feminine woman would be repulsed, like I've said, by what the hell's happening out there. So if you want change, you be the change. You stop validating these women. You stop complaining about today's day and age and you make a difference. You make the difference. It is up to you. This is your sign. How long have you been waiting to gain control over yourself? Whoa, it's up to you. It's up to you.
When you've had enough of the shit, that is when you will make change. Until that time, have fun weakening yourself by using the most powerful energy to move you towards what? What? That's a question you can answer, but I care about you. I want to see you succeed. I want you to gain control over your life, your thoughts, your mind, your urges, because it's about time. This world needs you more than ever to uh, actually regain centered masculinity that is with that is in alignment to the higher good, the higher good that keeps God in mind, and God would not be fulfilling the prophecies of weakened people to run this weakened society any longer. We need strength. We need determination. We need alliance to not only each other, but to ourselves. Stop fighting yourself. Stop fragmenting yourself just to feel satisfaction in one department and pleasure in the other. Pleasure is the shadow aspect of joy. Step into the joy by doing everything in your capability to starve the monster within that keeps you entrapped in a mentality that is the one that shouts at you, that demands from you. The only thing your soul demands is to find stillness in the space between a thought. That is true power. And that is where you get to decide when you allow yourself space instead of taking action that is in misalignment to your inner good. So make that change, make a difference, stop complaining. You can complain when you're actually making change. And even from that point, it doesn't really make sense because the outside world is just a reflection of everything that we're still participating in. Let's do the work together. Let's wake up and discipline ourselves into mastery. I hope you guys liked today's video. Know I care about you. Know when I come off strong. It's because I'm actually tapping into the strength that you guys have. You guys have this. Start acting upon it. Start acting for a greater good than what has been from the past. Envision the future, embody the man, and then you can see change. I love you.